at the moment the configuration for the shoe is stored in a file I call it shoe data and there are, uh, are two interesting parts one is the backbone that is uh, the point of the baseline uh, and the shoe sole and the next one are the 3D boxes for the ribs uh, where I have four numbers uh, the position left, the button position, the position right and the height and I have played with these parameters and uh, the results are here I have yesterday played with uh, for example here starting point 38 and then I have added 2 and um, 3 and so on and this is at the moment the best uh, configuration I have maybe we can improve it a little bit and then we can substitute these uh, terms by simple numbers okay let's start uh, we generate the shoe and now we have the ribs we have 14 ribs and I have changed the model of the rib the rib is at the moment a full constraint sketch so this is the result uh, now we see first the scan data and here is the shoe model and uh, I have here at the top of the shoe some extra uh, information and also there must be done some work here on the end too so uh, now I want to change uh, the geometry so uh, first thing what I do is uh, I unhide all. Here we have the ribs and what we do at the moment is that we first uh, make a copy of them so and then can we compare the results of the first generation with other results. Uh, next step is create uh, a scan pattern and here we have the data for rib 4 when we look from top on it then we see that uh, our first model is not exact in this area so what we can do is uh, we start editing the profile and first we see the, the sketch is full constrained that means nothing can be changed here inside and now I want to change the curve here to this point so I have to change this value and I flip it from exact mode to construction or read mode and the second is this one too oh so and now this point is free movable and uh, I put it in a position where I can it is exactly in the area of the points and so the profile is better uh, to see a difference uh, at the moment I do something else I put it here outside the shoe because in other cases uh, it's hard to see the differences and I only want to demonstrate the functionality of uh, the object at the moment so now we are ready we have transformed it and we can see the ribs of this state and the other ribs and when we compare I hide it with again uh, if we compare the both solutions then we see here the difference we see green this is the modified shoe and uh, pink this was the old version of the shoe this is only the rib model and uh, the shoe is already updated so this is the shoe and now we can go back and uh, we'll do the same work again and map it to an exact model so we hide the ribs I can always make copies of uh, such a structure to compare old results with new ones uh, now again we go to this 
area so and edit and move it down close it and now we see this is uh, now the better solution we also can change all these values but uh, i think this is not my job that should do the others and uh, once again let's see the shoe and hide this work area and there is no big difference this uh, the improvements are only in an area of millimeters um, so what we can further do we can look at uh, a polygon approximation of the shoe that's, that means now we have here a, a lattice of points and uh, we can configure how large is the distance between these uh, points uh, the meridians are configurable and the ribs these lines are only the ribs so at the end i want to demonstrate how the ribs uh, are designed so i create a single rib and this is a single rib and this is a sketch a sketcher object it's a beast line and i have the arranged the knots in that way that i can create sharp corners here and as i also can um, have curves in any areas when i go to the uh, rib then we have a lot of named constraints at the moment this are too much data for end user so I think it's best to have an extra dialog, um, but um, now I can change. For example, I can say we have here some points which we can move. Uh, point zero is here in this area and I can uh, use the Y position and move it up. So, and the same is I can move it in this direction. So any of these points has a special meaning and now I can go here to another point. Point two is somewhere is here, this area. So I um, can move this in this direction. So and in this way I can drag the complete figure into any direction. When I go into the uh, object then it's a full constrained sketch and the problem for me at the moment is that here are too many data shown so at the moment I cannot hide uh, some information so we have to wait until the sketcher can hide information or we must look for, for another idea how to edit it inside the sketcher but time will come and solutions too. Thank you.